What's up everyone and welcome back to Making Motor Moves. Today, we are gonna be uncovering, boom, the boat that I bought for $100. It has been sitting dormant for two months now and I have never even seen the inside. Let's go check it out. Oh boy, today I've got something special for you. We, George and I, are officially going to uncover the boat that I got for free. It's been sitting dormant for like two and a half months now and I have never ever seen the inside. I got this in, I wanna say very early January. I was coming back from a work trip. I get a ping from my buddy on Facebook Messenger and it's this listing for this boat. And normally, typically, the boats that I'm into, let's, let's take a look at this guy speed they look good they're fancy i would have never even considered looking at but he sends me this post it says free it's in waterloo iowa sure enough it'd been listed like 10 minutes ago and we were some of the first people to see it and my buddy says let's message the guy and see what it's all about so i shoot him a message no reply well then i'm thinking okay this guy's probably has hundreds of messages by now how about we offer him a hundred bucks immediately the guy responds back to me goes Here's my address, 100 bucks, you come get it right now. So I'm looking at my buddy, let's shoot over there. We show up to this guy's house. I'm a little worrisome because I've never picked up something for free before, or essentially free. But we get over there and here's the boat sitting like a foot of snow in the middle of this guy's yard. He's got the title in hand, all the paperwork. I have this massive packet full of stuff for the boat. The guy's like, hey, how you doing? So happy you guys could come over here. Really appreciate you throwing me a hundred bucks. Look at all these messages of people that sent me. In the back of my head, I'm like, well, yeah, because you're trying to sell this beautiful, massive boat for free. Anyway, we ended up talking for a while and the story goes, the guy got into a fight with his wife the night before. She doesn't like this boat. They didn't use it that much. The guy wanted to buy another boat and his wife wasn't gonna let him have two boats at the same time. So he, after their fight, lists this boat for free the next morning. And guess who's got it now? George and Ben. Welcome to the newest addition to our fleet. This 1991 Sea Ray 250D Sundancer. So as I'm talking to the guy, he's like, yeah, I've got 8,000 bucks tied up in this boat here. Really, I just need it out of the yard. I put some money into the trailer. I rewired the trailer. All the lights work, the brakes work. He's like, yeah, I, I had it out on the water three times last year, had it winterized, runs and drives. This is too good to be true. Sign the title, sign the paperwork, put everything in my name and we got out of there as fast as we could, like we stole the thing. My goal is to get to a runabout cruiser crossover that's got twin engines and can go about 55 miles an hour, which is like I was saying, why I would never ever look at this boat, but you can't beat free. I mean, everything, everything turns fine. It looks in pretty good shape. It's got a stainless steel prop on it. It's a single 454 big block Chevy mated to a Mercruiser Bravo One outdrive. The engine, I'm gonna assume, I think from my experience, probably makes about 320 or 315 horsepower. Allegedly, this boat can do like 50 miles an hour. Let's uncover it and see what hidden gems might be inside. It's got two covers on it actually. So it's got a winter cover, which is waterproof, keeps all the snow and ice off of it. And then this snap on cover that goes over the cockpit. Look at this wood. Yeah, God. that doesn't need to replace. Oh, look at that. 
First rule, shoes off when you're in the boat. But oh, uh, hey, 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 oh hey. That's why we own no. a pressure washer. It's winter. Let me get on up here with you, buddy. <gasps> oh boy. Man, we can see the whole world from up here. Hey, formula. Life is much better when it's viewed on top of your 25 foot sea ray. You guys ready? Look at this thing. Oh, look at the trim on the side. Dude, not bad. You guys have to remember, this was for a hundred dollars. And honestly, the upholstery doesn't look that bad yet. Let's take our shoes off and get inside this thing, man. Look at the bimini top. I know, it's got a big one. <laughs> I can't believe we got this for a hundred dollars. And honestly, the guy said the motor runs. If it does run, we're in business. Here's today's tech tip. If you ever need the boat smelling good through the winter, just throw some dryer sheets in it. What are they actually for, George? No, no uh, dryer sheets actually help prevent mice from living in your investment over the winter time. Yeah. It's been proven that dryer sheets discourage mice from making a new home. Well, it looks like it's worked. Shoes off. Look. Shout out to Bombas. <laughs> Shout out to Timberland. Timber. We are both actually in our socks right now. It's not heaven, it's Iowa. George, look, it's got an anchor. Quick silver throttle, look at the gauges. They're all there. Got ourselves a fire extinguisher. Look, shore power with a shore adapter. What do we got here? These come out? Yeah. Oh! Oh my gosh. Party mode. Oh, I was hoping for two. Yeah. <laughs> two sets of cup holders. Nothing like feeling the wind through your hair and a nice caress of your leather steering wheel on your 1991 Sea Ray Sundancer. This right here is the overdrive button. You just push it all the way down and you're moving. Breaker breaker, this is the old Sea Ray coming into harbor, over. This is probably a uh, light on the front. Ah, uh, yeah. To move, move it around. around. Light beacon. Steering wheel could use a little work. Yeah. I might have to get rid of that. You guys think she'll start? I already know the battery switches are off, so. Yeah. No, we don't want to start her yet. That's coming later. It is time to see what's inside. Latch here. Oh my gosh. Guys. <laughs> wow. This, I mean, everything's clean. I mean, minus a little bit of dust. Look at oh, the alcohol stove. Oh my goodness. Look at this, the control panel. It looks like it hasn't been touched in years. This is a big tell guys, what the refrigerator looks like on the inside. <laughs> She's clean. No way. We got some waters to unfreeze and be ready for us in the spring. Yeah, do we, you need water? Anybody thirsty? Another oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you got the mirror? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Get in there, get in there. See what it's all about. George is getting in his little cubby hole. Oh yeah, this, this is perfect. All right, get out of here. Come on. We got our alcohol stove. We got our sink. We got our cutting board. Comes in and out, running water. Cubby holes, lights. Got Ben sitting at the dining room table, which I'm sure this table, just like in other boats, can come apart. Yep. And a cushion actually goes in the center in this area here to make it a bed all the way across. So yeah, these just come out and pop down, unscrew from both sides. Look at that. Look, George, George. It's got three portholes on it. Two there. Oh, perfect. And one up here. Nice. What does a bathroom look like? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Full bathroom. It's sided too. And. Oh, is it all lined? Yeah, it's all lined. And we got our shower. Do you think this bathroom's ever been used? I don't know. Oh, little mold. Little moldy. That's okay. <laughs> That's, that happens. A little bleach will fix that. My Antigua wasn't even this clean when I opened it up. It literally, this is 10 times nicer than the Antigua was when I got it. Not bad. Everyone, you're looking at a $100 boat 
it's going to be flipped. This doesn't happen. This does not happen, guys. I got really lucky and was in the right place at the right time to make this happen. But that being said, we're going to take this opportunity and spin it towards our advantage. We got to see the engine. We are out of the cabin and we have to see what the engine looks like and figure out what is in this, if there even is an engine in it. God bless Sea Ray engineers. They made it easy on us. They have this seat that hinges, folds up nicely, a couple straps. Oh, look at this. Look how you lift the covers up. Oh, no way. Moment of truth here. <laughs> it is a 454, 7.4 liter V8 Chevrolet. Guys, big bummer here. I've noticed it just because I was peeking around, but I want to show you it real quick. This boat requires not one, not two, not three, four batteries. Good thing they're on sale at Menards for like 84 bucks a piece. George, $100. What's our hour gauge at, Ben? 1,167 hours. Oh, look, it's got dual bilge pumps down there. I don't think... seem to be in decent shape. Yeah, belts are good. Power steering pump. Reservoir. Oh, fluids in great Fluid shape. Fluid looks clean. Yeah. And what I will say too is when the owner said, hey, we had this boat out in the water and we took it out and used it the past couple summers. We're excited because the owner was right and he took care of the engine and everything seems to be in working order. Sounds like the guy was just crazy to let this go for free. He was gonna let it go for free and we got it because we offered him a hundred bucks. Get your arm off. You don't wanna be closer to me? No. Well, there you have it. Our new 1991 Sea Ray 250D Sundancer. Cannot express how excited we are for this. I mean, the boat is in incredible shape. It's gonna need a washing and a cleaning and vacuuming. Lucky for you, you're looking at two of the best detailers on this side of the Mississippi. That's right. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoy the unveiling our 25 foot Sea Ray that we bought for a hundred bucks. Everything seems to be intact after looking at it today and we're excited to give you guys more content on this boat throughout the spring and summer when we first get onto the water. Thank you guys for tuning in to Making Motor Moves. Hope you like what we're doing. If you do, go down there, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about us, leave a comment, and this could be you. This could be you for a hundred bucks. That's you right. find that deal, hey, don't be afraid. A shameless plug, this boat's gonna be for sale and couple months if you want this boat hit us up but we'll see you later guys take it easy thanks for watching oh man he really knew some knots <laughs> what are you standing in <laughs> standing in a maze in the center of where the park was let's see if i can get up here for you guys whoa Whoa, 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 look. Mm -hmm. It has an auto anchor. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. This thing just keeps getting better and better. I want my ropes back. <laughs> yeah, apparently this guy wants his ropes back. You should uh, let us know in the comments if we should give them back or not. I'm thinking no. This is a maze. All right. They, 